Hello, everybody. Sorry, I was trying to turn the volume up. Okay, how's everybody doing? I was just setting up. Yeah, so my table right now is under construction. As you see, I got cards over here. I got energies over here. I got chapstick up here. <laughs> Let me put some on. I do that. Yes, I do. I put chapstick on right before I start my readings. I always do it. So I just decided to put it, you know, leave it at the table. So I don't have to keep getting up, going to the dresser, getting the chapstick, putting it on, putting it back on the dresser. Yes, I'm one of those people. <laughs> I got to put everything back where it is. All right. So anyway, how is everybody doing? How's everybody doing? I'm so excited that, you know, today is another day. I'm just excited about that. You know, that's what I think makes this channel different from a lot of channels, you know? I just, I'm just grateful for every day being different um, because a lot of things I go through off camera are crazy. So <laughs> I always look forward to opening my eyes to a new day. <laughs> Trust me, that's exactly what I look forward to. I'll be like, it's, it's almost like, what's that movie? I don't know if it's Groundhog Day or the, fir the first 50 dates, that's it. Where every time... She woke up. It was a new day. <laughs> she didn't remember the first one. I feel like that. I'll be like, oh, that was a dream. Next. Oh, it was a nightmare. Next. You know, so it's, it's just how I get through things. But anyway, anyway, enough about me. So hi, everybody. It's a spirit guide. Uh, yeah, so I'm shuffling here because, you know, got to get the energy right. I am going to pick up some energy of. Ooh. Ace of Cups. Wow. Someone has a lot of love for somebody. I'm going to pick up some energy, okay? I'm going to pick up energy first. Hold on. Hold on to your love. All right. Let's get some energy. Um, You are due for two readings. So what I might do is I might actually go live. Um, I'm not going to promise, okay? Today's my first day back to work. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows how this is going to go? Um, I'm not in my brace, my leg brace anymore. Whew, I'm excited. They took it off. <laughs> the doctor was like, all right, we're good. Take the brace off. And I was like, yes, at least I can feel my foot. That was a beautiful thing because for a while I could not feel my foot. That's how badly swollen it was. All right, so let's move on. All right, so we, let's get some leading energy to see what we're feeling. Okay, so I feel gratitude for myself. So let's see. Birds of a feather. Yes, you feel gratitude too, right? I said, I feel gratitude for myself and birds of a feather flew out. So birds of a, fe of a feather mean like everyone that is watching, that is in the sound of my voice, we are all in the same space, right? Maybe not the same incidents. Maybe hopefully, prayerfully, you did not hurt yourself. But, you know, we all are feeling gratitude. We're all feeling, you know, Love. And if you look at the birds here, they're at different points of their life. See, they're different. The different, the birds that look different, like the really fat one here would be the older one. Then maybe, maybe that's the older one and that I don't know. You know, the younger one, the youngest one and the younger one, right? So different ages and also different phases. Like look, they're on different pedestals, right? So that's birds of a feather. Even though we're in different spaces of our life, different phases of our life, different ages, um, financial statuses, everything of our life on this channel, we all come together for one cause. We all come together to talk, to fellowship, to hear. And when I go live, that's what we do as well, okay? So we're blessed on this channel, okay? We are all birds of a feather. Let me see if there's one more energy. Um, that's definitely an energy for this this group here okay okay smoke and mirrors there it is all right so smoke and mirrors to me is saying that there's something amiss that we have to um this is our group energy okay <laughs> so this is the actual reading energy so basically smoke and mirrors like there's a facade going on Someone's feeling like in this group, there's a facade. There's everything is not what you see. 
right? Everything is not what you see. One of my shorts was about this too, right? So let's see what we're talking about, right? So I definitely agree that not everything is what you see. Um, meaning in my life, you know, I can always, like, I see that a lot. I'll be looking at things and things be going crazy. And I'm like, where did that come from? <laughs> like, has that been here all this time? Has that level of crazy been here all this time? Basically, you know. So anyway, so let's continue. Let's continue. Okay. So we have right here, Smoke and Mirrors. And you see, you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of, what's that cartoon? Is it Cinderella with the with the mean witch and the black hair? And remember, the, the Disney, it's a Disney character. And she's looking into a mirror. And when she looks into the mirror, it turns into another face. Like the witch comes out. So I don't remember which Disney movie it was, but this is what it reminds me of. That's the first thing that came to my mind, right? And of course, we see the image of the woman here. Okay, there's an image of like a bird over here. Okay, and then this is just like smoke. It could be interpreted any way differently, okay? So I see in the energy I feel here with smoke and mirrors and the number's 42. Um, smoke and mirrors, it's like we want to uncover something. Something's going on. We want to uncover it, okay? All right, let's continue. Wow, King of Staff. Okay, the first one that came out was King of Staff. Okay, so we all, someone has to make a decision in this group. Whoever's watching, you have to make a decision. You're a powerful individual. You are, if you're not powerful at work, meaning you're not a boss at work, you command attention. You command people. You might be a lead worker. You you know, something like that, right? So you have to make a very important decision. And it's something that's going to affect you, okay? It's going to affect you, all right? So let's continue. Four of Cups in reverse. Yeah, you're not consulting your emotions on this at all. You have no regret, right? So four cups in the upright is regret. You have no regret. You're not consulting your emotions. You are do it's like you're doing this based on logic, this decision you have to make. It's like you're clearing the smoke. You see what I'm saying? Look at that. It's like you're clearing the smoke, right? You're trying to you're getting to the truth here. There's some truth. Yeah, seven of coins. There's some truth here you need to see. Okay. Um you need to also balance it's like, yes, balance your money, but you're also seven of coins. You need to balance the information that you're getting, I'm hearing. Yeah, balance the information you're getting. Because you're getting a lot of information. You can't bring down Rome in a day. <laughs> and I don't even know what that means, meaning I don't say things like that. That just came to me. You can't bring down Rome in a day. All right, I may be channeling someone's grandmother or something. I don't know. Okay, yeah, it's chariot to move on quickly. Yeah. So it's like, you know, in in saying with seven of coins, you're not using emotions here, you're just making a decision. You're also, it's like you want to make the decision to see if you're gonna move on quickly, but it's coming quick. So you don't really have time. That's why you're not using your emotions. Okay, you don't have time to contemplate. You need to just make moves, right? And look, he looks like he's from Rome. Maybe that's why I channeled it, right? You can't bring down Rome in a day. Yeah. Drop in the comments if someone's grandmother, grandfather, I'm getting that feeling of a grandmother, grandfather, trusted individual. Um, it's kind of a queen of staff energy um, coming up. Well, king of staff is right here, but queen of staff is coming up. So let me know if someone's parent, grandparent, someone who you trust and love said that to you. You can't bring down Rome in a day. That's such a weird saying. I've never in my life said that before. Okay, so here we go. Eight of cups in reverse. Yeah, you're, cho you're choosing not to walk away. Right. So you're getting a decision quickly. You're making a decision quickly. You're balancing everything out that you're getting and you're advised to balance everything out that you're getting. You're not using emotions, but you're making a decision. It's like with smoke and mirrors. It's like you're clearing the air. You're, you're really it's like justice you're seeking. My right? justice should come out, but I didn't see it. OK. Um, and birds of a feather is us. OK. So, yeah, I'm just feeling like. I don't want to say you're a whistleblower and it's nothing wrong with being a whistleblower, right? That's how new laws and policies are made, okay? Good for you. But yeah, it's kind of that energy. Like you've uncovered something and you got to decide how much information you're going to let out. And you're deciding in a way because you're not walking away, right? Most whistleblowers, when they blow the whistle, they leave the company, but you're not, 
You're not leaving. You're staying. So you really got to balance. You got to understand where you're coming from and what's going to what you're going to allow to get out to the public and what you're not going to allow to get out to the public. OK, so you're going to be like the keeper of secrets. OK, yeah. Knight of Swords. Absolutely. That's the the, the energy you're, you're fighting within yourself and you're fighting to make something better. Whatever you're doing, it's making it better for your company, whether you realize it or not. And your company likes it. OK, they like what you're doing. You have no patience. OK, you have no patience. That's why you're not using your emotions. Right. It's like business to you. You know, you're like, this is just business. Let's clean it up. Let's go clean it up. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw Ace of Cups in the very beginning when I was shuffling. Um, so Ace of Cups, you know, you have big love, right? Big love. And it's not romantic love. This is love for your job, for your for justice. This is justice, guys. It's not out here, but this is justice. You have love for justice. You want things to be right. Yeah, you're the Hierophant. You're the Hierophant. You want to teach a lesson to people. Yes, you want to be the Hierophant teaching a lesson. That's why you're not walking away. This is justice. You know, Ace of Cups, Temperance in Reverse, Knight of Swords, you know, Chariot, you know, Four of Cups in Reverse, and Leading was... Knight of Staff. I mean, King of Staff, right? Those are my words. Don't worry about it, guys. King of Staff was leading. So we knew that there's some decision. This is all about your decision you have to make, okay? And the process you're going through to make it, all right? But you are the Hierophant. You are the person teaching the lesson to your company. This is a company thing, okay? And you're not a decision maker at your company. Not saying that rudely. You're just not. But you have come up on something where justice needs to be given. Yeah, six of staff in reverse. It's not hard for you to make a decision at all. It's not. You are king of staff. So you know how to make decisions, okay? All right, good, good. Let me get one more energy on the six of staff. And then um, this is only a 14-minute video. We're at 12. So I'm going to just get this. And then I'm going to maybe get a self-discovery if I have time, okay? Yeah, king of coins in reverse. This is going to, this decision right now is going to affect your coins. That's just bottom line. But it has to affect your coins so that later it can affect your coins. You understand what I'm saying? Like right now you have to, um, oh, funny, this turned over right away. Stabbed in the back. Mm, interesting. Interesting. Yeah, it's affecting your coins. Mm -hmm. um, so it's affecting your coins right now, but that's okay. It has always affected your coins, okay? That's why you started to figure out what's going on because it's something to do. I'm really getting something to do with your money because coins came out twice, okay? So it's whatever is going on, it's like monetary. You want to know, like, you're following the money, okay? That's what you're doing. You're following the money, right? So you want to know what's going on. Let's see, yeah. Look at that blessing. There's a cycle that was done at your job. This is your job. There was a cycle that was done not paying you, not giving you money, and you're looking into it. You're causing others to look into this now because you don't understand why it is like that. Okay? You really don't understand that. All right. So let's continue. Let me get you a moonology. We are now running out of time. We have about 20 um, seconds, I believe. Yeah, 20 seconds before it do do <laughs> conks out on me okay all right so let's continue so be blessed guys so whatever you're doing and whatever you've uncovered has to do with money you are the change maker you're the whistleblower at your job don't worry about it your job appreciates it okay they appreciate it happens here we go Embl embrace the flow of life okay don't worry it's a uh, full moon in gemini don't worry about you know, for right now, you're not the most popular at work. Well, because you know what? You're uncovering money problems. That's what you're doing. And people are going to benefit from it, whether you know it or not. Information that you're getting with this, please think it through before you decide to uncover it. OK, don't forget, you chosen not to move on from your job. So you need to make sure you're secure as well. As well OK, all right, everyone, have a blessed and beautiful day. Hopefully everything finds you and all your blessings find you as well. Thank you, Spirit Guide. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.